Hey guys, so you've ridden the bike enough to know that you want to make a change. This video is going to show you how to adjust the governor. And for a rough frame of reference, three tenths of a millimeter is a significant change. Two tenths is noticeable and one tenth is for very fine tuning. So let's do it. To make an adjustment to the governor, you need to round up your leftover shim washers from the kit and you just need a six and eight millimeter sockets, a five millimeter Allen, and a pair of pliers. We're gonna do part of this project with the bike on its side, so you need to empty the carburetor. So shut off the fuel, take it outside, lay it on its side, uh, and then the other side, drain the, drain the carb good, or you can unscrew the drain plug on the bowl, uh, like a full turn, let it all drain out that way. Crack the radiator cap. I leave it ajar. The bottom water pump screw is your drain for the coolant. Tighten the drain screw now so you don't forget later. Take the kick lever off. Take the nylock nut off the brake pivot. Then undo the brake pivot. Unhook the spring, leave it right on the pedal. Let everything hang. The far pipe spring, take it right out. The closer one, let it hang on the cylinder. Remove the front pipe screw right from the pipe. Remove the rear one from the frame. Grab a hold of the pipe, just wiggle it, pulling it forward, and then slide it right out. Undo the hose clamp. Unhook the radiator hose from the water pump. Then take off the linkage cover. So take your dowel pin, slide it in the hole, take out the screw that holds the linkage to the valve shaft, remove the pin. Now this part's going to feel a little bit different because the hitless controls are already installed. You're going to need to lift up on the linkage about halfway, uh, which is about five or six millimeters, before it'll just come right off of the shaft. Uh, grab the collar just so you don't lose it. Because this is just a quick adjustment to the governor, we're not going to drain the oil, we're just going to lay it on its side. So grab it and uh, lay it over on its side. Our monthly tips will show you how to make these grab holds. Now it's on its side. I threw down a boot tray just to catch any last drip there might be from the carb overflow. Remove the 12 side case screws. Okay, now hold the linkage lever down, grab the case, wiggle it off of the alignment dowels, and then slide it straight up off the kickstart shaft. Over to the bench. Uh, 
Okay, so I marked the orientation of the gear, the teeth, in relationship with that flat spot. Uh, so just make yourself a little diagram. That'll just be a help when you put it back together. Uh, so then you can lift on the arm, lift up on the governor, wiggle it a little, pop it out. Pad your hand if needed. Grab the little Allen wrench, push it in, and pop out the pin. With the pin removed, you can take apart the governor, set down the weight retainer with the weights, and then slide the collar off. This one happens to have two three-tenth and one two-tenth. Uh, these are the spring shim washers. And so if you know that you definitely want it slower, I would add two-tenths. If you've ridden it several times and are waffling that you think you want it a little slower, then I would change it one-tenth. Uh, and likewise for if you want it faster. If you definitely know you want it faster, take away two tenths. If you are pretty sure you want it a little faster, reconfigure it so it's one tenth less in your shim stack. Uh, so then once you know what you want, here's uh, three, six, seven, eight tenths total. Uh, then just make your change, note uh, somewhere what you're running uh, and then you can put it back together. We like to run the three-tenth washers against the spring but it's not mandatory. While it's apart make sure that your marker marks are still showing the orientation of your pinhole. So slide the pin back in. Uh, grab the pin, pad your hand, line it up. Compress the spring, slide the pin in. So put the governor back in the case. Just press the linkage bar right into the little slot that the collar makes. Uh, twist it a little, help it to go in the bearing. Arm should come down when it's seated, spin it, make sure it's all in the bearing and, and set. Then just uh, set your marker marks so they're roughly horizontal. Uh, then take your diagram. This one was just before centered on a valley, so I'm just going to line that up. Hold down the linkage lever, slide the case down over the kickstart shaft. When you feel the dowels wiggle it, you want to get that little preload on the governor, that's all. Any more than that, you want to rotate the kickstart until uh, it drops right on. Put the screws back in. You just want to make sure they're the same amount is showing on all the screws. Put the bike on the stand. Now just a quick check to make sure everything in the PV box is still silky smooth. Nice. Then just run it counterclockwise till it just starts into the spring. Put on the collar. And then here again, because you can't hold down the closing fork, you're going to need to raise the linkage about five or six millimeters before it'll pop onto the 
valve shaft. Once it's on, give it a quick little snap snap. Make sure everything's bottoming out. Slide in the dowel pin. And install the little cap screw. Snug it up. Pull the pin. Put the linkage cover back on. Hook the radiator hose up to the water pump. Tighten up the clamp. Start the pipe on the silencer first, then line it up on the cylinder, spigot, twist it, push it right back on. Hook up that close spring. Install the far spring. Put the screw in the frame. The other screw in the pipe. Hook up the brake pedal spring. Screw in the pivot bolt. Get the nylock nut on there. Tighten the nut and the pivot down. Put the kick lever on. Last but certainly not least, put the coolant back in. And there you have it. 